Yeah, I say, greeting in the name of His Imperial Majesty, Empress of the First of Ethiopia, one God. This Facebook is dealing with where we are coming from. 2017, 20 September, where we are 2018, February, and where we are going. Well, as you know, that the Facebook originally started off uh, opposing Ethiopia, Stalinist government behavior towards Ethiopian people. And now that they are trying to create an economic development of Ethiopia. We are not going to attack them upon liberation of, and we have to talk about the restoration of the dynasty of Empress as the first and restoration of the constitutional monarchy. Mm -hmm. Until we decide to talk about it, we are going to make our reason based upon the Rastafarian community in Jamaica 2018. Mm -hmm. The question now we have to ask is that why it takes to be a Rastafarian in Jamaica 2018? The superstar Rastafarian them who forget getting Rastaism through the regular world. The question we have to ask them, what are they doing meaningful towards the Rastafarian movement in Jamaica? Like basic school, wellness center, employment, training center for the Rastafarian people, like them counterpart in the Afro Yesha Black. If we look in the Afro Yesha Black tonight, you can see where movement like the Rastafarian movement is doing something meaningful to them community. Right now, you have a question is on the Rastafarian table, like one for instance. When the Rasta man down the Scotch Pass said the idea that they miss him the Adventist in the concept of the Sabbath. It is debatable. The question that we ask these Rasta people and we sell. If I want to say to you, say, where, where this is coming from? A thousand earth here. Is that there? I'm going to say to you, say, from the evening to the morning one day, how would you accept Saturday as a Sabbath day when the day carry one thousand air? These are questions we have to ask intellectually and debate it because we are here to correct the Rasta abuse and inculcate and disseminate to him knowledge that it will be a second to anybody because the Rasta movement in Jamaica is one of the world the two political party and it is older than most of the people who ask negative questions and make negative statements so it's not self we are up and down but right now the mass movement is at a crossroad. And the crossroad is that it has a quorum and a central body. And we structurize it that way that we can do something meaningful towards the objective we start with September 20th. I'm not going to say a lot of things tonight, but I would ask Brother Chris Graham. We are about to really, uh, do not to interject. What they would like to see within the mass movement develop structurizing itself with a core Roman central body. So I'll get back to with a Chris Graham. Greetings again in the name of Emperor Silas the First, one God. Well, the mass movement, as they have grown a man well for a while ago, is structurized. And 
is only membership from our organization, the party. You have other Rasta group out there who don't party in you know, this movement here, yeah, this mass movement. Objective liberation, restoration of the government of Emperor Aish, that's first in Ethiopia. Now, why them don't party in you know, this liberation, restoration show? That's the question you have to ask them. Because I want and we need to find out, people must question them. Why none of the other Rasta group then, Boba Shanti, 12 Tribe, Nyabinga, etc., never active participate in the liberation struggle? Because Ethiopia is not free. The same dirt is there. So we are saying, how oh, come the other Rasta group then now, in Jamaica and worldwide, they never fight for the liberation of Ethiopia and then agitate for it? You understand me? And Ethiopia is not free. The royal family of Ethiopia from 1974. The black of some of them, yeah, men get through that. And imprison some of them and kill off thousands of royalists, Ethiopian people. Lock them up, kill them off, anybody who supports His Majesty. And then you have Rastaman who say, Isis last the first, Emperor Isis last the first is him God. And them same man, I hug up the enemy of Ethiopia, enemy of Emperor Isis, that's the first. We do understand it. So we are saying now, all of the Rasta group them today out there play them harp, call them reggae music people, while Ethiopia burn. There are people in Ethiopia right now who want to return as much as the government in Ethiopia so that Ethiopia can be free again. So we now have to look at it again. We are at a crossroads, as Yabuna said. And it's like, say, them Rasta there is on trial. The so called like, group them out there, 12 Tribe, Nyabindi, and Boba Shanti, them is on trial because today that them should have consolidated this mass movement liberation struggle for bring back his mass government, them God and King in Ethiopia, bring back the law. Because Ethiopia is not like a lawless place, it's you not know, free. You understand me? So we are saying, them no must come and be a part of this mass movement too. In a Jamaica now, we are saying that we keep several demonstrations, many years of demonstration in front of the United Nations. And them do come and party at night. And we still ask how comes the United Nations recognize the government in Ethiopia right now. And them know that so Emperor Ailey still has the first government and the right government and the legitimate government a legal government and yet still them accept this government and call it a democracy which is not a democracy you understand me and we know that the world know that the people who are suffering in Ethiopia know that and they can't talk they're not a vice so we become them vice the vice are the vices you understand me so we are saying oh who comes them rest of money in a Jamaica now partaking of this liberation struggle and we are saying them to come and be a part of it you understand me so you must question them all of the people them out there who interact with them big reggae artists and them man there. You understand me? Question them, ask them how them deal with the liberation of Ethiopia from 74. You can look it up, people, those who love truth, justice and hate aggression. You look it up and question them. Now we know as a mass movement you will structurize yourself now. We go and go to that structural way you now and go up on the, the radio. All the talk show, we will write articles now in the media. You understand me? The newspaper, them, Glean, Observer, the one in America, and start to spread this mass movement and challenge the other rest of them and challenge the people them out there who support this Ethiopia. We did not know this Ethiopian government, the dirt in a new disguise. We challenge them. So that is our objective right now. And another thing, we. We have a political party, we have a church, we have a school, we have our wellness centre, which is a clinic. What are you doing in the interest of the liberation of Ethiopia and the restoration of the dynasty of the government of emperors as well? That is the question of the day. And what does this mean, 2018, when you say it's a Rasta? What it mean? So with that, we have a liberty in our nation, Emperor Haile Selassie first. This is the guy, just Rasta Prime.
Greetings, brethren and sisters. Greetings in the name of the Imperial Majesty, Emperor Silas I, one God. Today, we all reach at a crossroad as a people in deciding what we should do for a free Ethiopia, for the constitutional restoration of the Imperial Majesty, Emperor Silas I. The Ethiopian people, those at home and abroad, is looking for the Rastafarian and in particular the Jamaican people to play their part in this struggle for the constitutional restoration of his imperial majesty monarchy. From 1974, the whole thing has changed. Rastafarian dropped them guard to our whole defense of Ethiopia. We see people on such a money says them welcome Menguste in his motorcade coming to Sashamani for him put on them clothes and go to meet him and says and tell them that there are more Jamaicans, there are more Ethiopians than the Ethiopians. We as a people cannot serve two masters at one time. Because you're going to love one and hate one. And we see that take place in Ethiopia when and Shashamani, when them say them support Menguste and love him up. The Rastafarian in Jamaica and the Jamaican people must play an important part in this constitutional restoration of His Imperial Majesty Monarchy. Because His Majesty comes to Jamaica and says, Jamaica and Ethiopia shall bring peace to the world. The Rastafarian singers and players of instrument within the secular world, as we said secular to the church of Isaac Selassie I is the religious part of the whole order. When we say singers and players, they're talking of the priests and the Levites and the operation of the church order. Now the brethren them and sisters who is in the musical industry or earn money in the secular part that as plays an instrument within the industry call him use his modest name and his appearance with locks and all these type of things and colors and buttons they must give them contribution to the institution that is recognized throughout the whole world as the first Rastafarian people have a seminary which is recognized in Parliament. As the first Rastafarian institution of a charter, a royal charter given by the Crown of Ethiopia. Charter 36 is no more. Planner, Sam Brown, and all the others. But today, we have a legal charter given to us by the Crown, King Amma and Zara Yaakov. Today, as a people, Rastafarian and Jamaican people must support this institution given, built to us by His Imperial Majesty, Empire Silas I. It's a legal institution incorporating Parliament the first in history Rastafarian people accomplished that feat. Other people tried it. Bunga Blackheart and other people 
but what they use to become fellows of other people. We have a own political party. Rastafarian musicians, singers, and Rastafarian must play a part in this contribution. Today, University under Neckerford, 1960, says Rastafarian people need housing, medical health, schools, all these things. And everybody play on them apps and no contribution to it. Today, we have to pay an important part. We put our money where our mouth is. That does to sing and make money for themselves and drive car and have big house and nothing contribute to the Rastafarian community. Elders live in poverty. Our patriarch bury in poverty. We have to do better than that as Rastafarian people. We have to play an important contribution to this struggle. Yes, you're not just words but deeds. You have to work and contribute towards it. And if they don't do it, it's much going to take away the blessing from them. Yes, virgin and sister, you have to contribute wholeheartedly to this struggle. Old age home for Rastafarian people. Basic schools, wellness center. The Church of Ice lost the first of a wellness center. We give people free blood pressure tests, sugar tests, and other medical information to help. We need contribution from the Rastafarian community and the whole populace in general. God. As Madison says, Jamaica and Ethiopia shall bring peace to the world. And when he said peace means justice. So we have to give our contribution now, brethren and sisters. We have to contribute towards this constitutional monarchy. We have to start at home. Because Madison says in Parliament, you make a provision for Jamaica to be a part of Ethiopia. So brethren and sisters, we have to re-examine the whole thing again. We have to use the legal institution. Work with it. Because it is for all our people, our Rastafarian people. So we are looking forward to brethren and sisters to come in and be a part of the struggle for the constitutional monarchy of Ethiopia. We have to develop ourselves as much as to give us the legal institution. It's not a back street thing and a bush thing. It's a legal institution and people work for it. At one time, we identify a building make Rastafarian community a headquarters and we ask reggae singers and them say one of them say brethren you know hungry and we have millions of dollars yes millions of dollars and would never contribute it you have other people contribute out there yes them contribute to hospitals, them contribute to all things, but the Rastafarian community fail. The people are watching God and history. Shall we cut your judgment? Yes. So brethren, time is now. Everyone is at a crossroad. Contribute to a legal institution. The Church of Ice will last the first. And Imperial Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. But without that, brethren, 
the Rastafarian community is in darkness. Yes, that we can't play from our apps while it will burn. We make a contribution. As Majesty says, as Majesty says, those at home and abroad, those who have never set foot on the shores of Ethiopia, is acquire the machinery at the state so we can develop itself. Brethren, whole thing is in motion. Legal institution, the Royal Charter, and the church, which is incorporated in government, parliament, in England, this is legal in Barbados. This is legal in America. It's illegal. It's legal. So, brethren and sisters, time to pay no part. His Majesty, Empire the last the first one God. Greetings. Give thanks and thanks to our Majesty Emperor Elis Lassie I, of Ethiopia, Emperor ever living. And right now, you know, speaking to the Jamaican government thing, you need, you need to know that, remember that when the Emperor comes to Jamaica, there's a government who will give him Dr. Jafar Lord. So anything concerning the Emperor and Rastafari people agitate and speak. The government can also give a credence and give advice because they say they love the emperor and they love justice and hate aggression. And speaking to the Ethiopian government, so-called government, right now, the biggest disrespect that ever take place in creation is to denounce the Ethiopian constitutional monarch and to try to black out emperor name, emperor Haile Selassie name, because why this biggest disrespect? The greatest event that ever take place in creation is the coronation of his imperial majesty in Pilate Slash the first. And you know that the throne and the dynasty is from an ancient time. And to try to denounce that is a big disrespect even to the creator himself. So we're asking the government to please take a look at what he's doing and humble himself, yeah, and see the restoration supposed to be the forefront on their mind right now. Give thanks.